Steve Mignogna here for Asseter Auctioneers and the Great Texas Mopar Horde Auction event. This is item number 65, a 1959 Plymouth Belvedere. Beautiful grill, nice bumper. The valance filler panel is looking fantastic. The anodized on the Plymouth crest is even there. How cool is that? Okay, let's have a peek under the hood, see what we find. <laughs> okay, this is the base 230 cubic inch inline six. Absolutely original presentation. I've never seen that air cleaner before. That is correct. That's what they had. Now, 59 was the final year for the Flathead 6, which was first seen in 1936. Uh, of course, this was replaced by the Slant 6 engine in 1960. But this one's pretty austere. Manual drum brakes, manual steering, and the firewall looks very, very pure with that beautiful aqua paint. I don't see any holes, no firewall rot. And uh, it does have the heater, which was an option on these cars. The twin sp Spartan horns are here. The radiator is present and accounted for. And uh, let's go down the side and see if the body is as nice as the understructure. Uh, yeah, lower fenders, beautiful. No rust at all down here. The magnet sticks wonderfully. The rocker panel looks nice. Bottom of the door looks fantastic. Let's take a peek inside. Maybe we'll switch places, Mr. Cameraman. And yes, the bench seat Belvedere interior. And look at that, radio delete. There's no radio in the center of the dash. The engine turned aluminum applique. Uh, it goes all the way across. Yep, radio delete. This one's a three-speed push-button automatic car. And the rubber floor mat, dig that. That's so cool to see. The little litter basket on the right-hand side, that white thing, that's a, a little plastic litter basket, a classic accessory scene. And the beauty of this one, this Belvedere, it's not a two-door post, it's not in this, an austere sedan. This is the beautiful hardtop fastback. Roll this window down, the entire side of the car is wide open, and a great car to drive around in. But again, that beautiful, graceful fastback body. Now the rust, what we see here is surface rust, not structural. Down low here, this is very, very solid. And a little bit of a bubble there starting to happen. But again, by 1970, in most parts of the country, this would have been a big gaping hole. But because it's a Texas car, or at least sitting here now, this looks to be very much uh, the minimal area of rust. The wheel lip is very solid. It's not been doctored at all. This is all very solid down here. Fantastic. Bubbles here. They're years away from coming through, but you can see a little, little bubble waiting to happen. Uh, has there been any filler, any attempts to cover this up? No, the magnet sticks everywhere. This is a very, very solid quarter panel. Let's go around the side and see if we continue. 1959, you gotta love those tail fins. Belvedere, of course, was the midline. We had the Savoy at the bottom, the Belvedere, Fury, but uh, rear bumper on this one is in nice shape. Georgia, 1983, apparently was the last time this was uh, registered, 1985, Georgia. Okay, so it's been uh, here in Texas for many, many years, apparently, but originally from Georgia. On the deck lid, we have the optional uh, <laughs> Exner-inspired uh, Continental, or toilet seat as they might call it, but this is metal, not fiberglass. And again, uh, it's cool to see the stainless insert, this aluminum insert, I should say, is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, not dented or banged up. Uh, that's fantastic to see something this well-preserved. Uh, we can't really get down this side so easily, it's against the container, but looks to be more of the same. That quarter panel looks really, really solid. And uh, uh, just a nice example of a 1959 Plymouth Belvedere two-door fastback. Uh, you could restore this car, I mean, with the six-cylinder engine and the automatic, it wouldn't be very fast. Or you might want to put a Hellcat Hemi in it or a Viper V10. Whatever you want to do, this could be your car. Bit away.